Hey, welcome to the Hold the Line podcast. One of my favorite people in politics, actually one of my favorite people just in general, Lauren Bobert is here. We're excited. We're in Phoenix. Yes. It's been fun. It's so much fun. And you are one of my favorite as uh, well. You came out to my primary party. I did. We worshiped. She, we had worship. Okay, let me just tell yes. you guys what a gangster <laughs> Lauren Bobert is. Gangster for Jesus. Gangster for Jesus, yes. We were. We came out and she rented a huge bar, massive bar, and wanted to do worship. And I told her as soon as the votes were coming in that she was going to win. She's like, I don't know. Well, we found out that you won yeah. before we even started the party. And she was like, don't tell people I won yet because let's worship. Yes. That was so cool. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't want to take away from that because I wanted to usher in that presence yeah. so so greatly. It, it was just um, such a, a stirring and an unction to, to do that and, yeah. and to really put God first. Right. Um, we, we say God, country, family, but do we show that yeah. in our actions? And to stand up and give a speech, yeah, we won, victory. No, like let's let's yeah. worship the creator and then we'll get into oh, the I, I was stuff. literally, yeah. I was so moved by that and just, and, and I feel like um, I love the political realm. I love to see God invade it. I love just like every dark space. But I, I can tell when it's charity. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and there's a whole lot of that in America. Like you're saying, there's a whole lot of that yeah, in you conservative. See it, you see it in Republican meetings. Right. Well, we start with a prayer right. and a pledge, but right. do you mean that prayer? Right. Do you, do, you, do you mean what you're actually saying and believe in the God that you're yeah. speaking of? Yeah. Or is this just an action? Is this just a work Checking that you the box. do? Yeah. Checking the box. And, and, and definitely wasn't. And I, I want to encourage you guys. I was so blown away with her heart that night. and It was really powerful. It was cool to see. I just love seeing like the farmer, rancher, cowboy people, and it's just like, a lot of them probably never been to yes. church in a long time, yes. yet we brought church to them on a campaign Well, and even party. the liberal reporters that were there were blown away by the presence of God wow. and just the atmosphere. I mean, they were writing about it. They were like, what is this? They're, they were praying, and they were almost <laughs> in a trance. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> what is this trance to speak of? I, I feel like, I feel like that, that, that you're pioneering a new dimension of politics where that is actually going to be and, and actually because we did that together yeah like more people are saying okay now i feel like i have permission because yes. there are a lot of members of congress that love the lord yes. but they ha quite haven't had the boldness to take that step and you right. you just basically were like we can do it yes you know yes well i would not be here without my faith in god i, yeah. I wouldn't know how to live limitlessly i wouldn't know how to live from a place of victory right. uh and and have that victor mentality rather than the victim mentality that the left so desperately wants right. us all to live under and, and so i mean with, without his word without his faithfulness i wouldn't be here right. i mean come on i'm a mom of four restaurant owner with a ged like, like, no natural yeah. uh, path would have taken me to the United States yeah. Congress. Right. But God. Yeah. And and what's amazing is that in the midst of this journey, right, you faced incredible resistance, of course. Yes. And um, all kinds of resistance. I'm sure friends, family, whatever. However, in this last election, it was close. It was, it was very close, yes. Maybe it's because you weren't there at the election party. <laughs> that's uh, what you were missing. That, that might be that's the missing element here. Yeah, I would, yeah, we would. Because we were in the same bar, but no Sean Foyt. Yeah, dang it. All right, well, next time we yes. won't make that mistake. So, like, just walk me through a little bit of that. I think mm -hmm. it's important. Like, I love this story because I not only do I love the story of fighters and Speaking of, I mean, this whole book is full of fighters. Yes. And yes. and here's the cool thing. I love the Bible, too, because it, it, it tells the whole story. Yes. Right? It tells the whole story. This is one of the things why I thought it was important in our film, Super Spreader, to share both sides of the story. And you just walk, walk through this election. It went to recount. Yeah. Automatic recount. Crazy. Yes. And it was difficult and tough and hard. And you know, if, we, if you're going to win, like, how, did, how was your faith in that? Yes. Time? Well, my faith was there. Um, I, and God didn't call me to this to to fail. He showed right. me exactly what this is yeah. is going to look like, and this that wasn't part of it. Um, right. Maybe not exactly like it's going to look like, but you know, when the when the attacks come from the left, that doesn't define me. I, I have been bought and purchased by the blood of Jesus. Right. That is what defines me yeah. and um, all the promises that are in this book. But also, you know, you say that this tells the whole story. It's unedited. 
you know, sometimes I wonder, if I were God, would I have edited the Bible some to make my children look a little bit better? Right. Because a lot of these people didn't have it all figured right. out. They right. didn't go through this perfect course to achieve God's will. They made a lot of mistakes along the way. And, and God has a reputation of working with some real losers and turning oh, them into oh, victors. 100%. You know? So, yeah, so going into this, I've absolutely had faith every step of the way. Um, I didn't bite off my fingernails. I was too busy hitting refresh um, yeah. to see the count. <laughs> Gosh. But, but you know, there, there's some elements to that too in the natural. If you if you look at the 2020 election, my first general election, and then the 2022. In 2020, there were third party candidates right. that took votes from the Democrats. Right. So we knew by 1030 right. at night that I had won that election. Um, I won with 51% of the vote. You know, we're kind of almost in a purple district. It's, right. it's a little scary yeah. to yeah. even say that totally. out loud. Totally. Um, but, and then this one, it was just the Democrat and myself. He campaigned as a Republican. Right. The media allowed him to do that. They right. called him a conservative. Right. Um, uh, just allowed him to define himself as that. It's bizarre. Um, but I won again with 51% of the vote. Uh, it just took a lot longer to get there. But, you know, throughout all of this, um, I, I was telling you, you know, God was really pressing on my heart the story of Elijah. Um, he said the true God will answer by fire. And yeah. those who worshipped Baal, uh, they they believed that Baal was the, the true God. And he yeah. said, Elijah said, prove it. If, if Baal is the true God, tell him to answer by fire. And they're calling for him, they're screaming, they're hollering, yeah. they're cutting themselves, they're acting right. a fool. Uh, you know, we've seen that like in 2020 riots right. and stuff. Right. Uh, but their God didn't show up. Elijah was mocking them. Yeah. Well, maybe cry a little bit louder. Right. Maybe he can't hear you. Maybe he's sleeping, maybe he's on vacation. I right. love that so much. Um, and then he went and he said, you know what? I'm gonna do you one better. I don't want you to say that this is some kind of fluke, um, some sort of combustion that just happened. I'm gonna drench the altar with fire, right. or with water, three times. Three times he went and drenched the altar with fire and God, with water, and God still showed up by fire. And that's what he was showing me with this election. Yeah. He said, it may look impossible in the natural right. that there will not be a victory. You may hear the voices, you may hear other people, but I am going to show up, and he yeah. did. Well, and I think that you're, you know, there's also the fact that there's probably a lot of people that didn't know what they were going to get mm -hmm. in the sense that, you know, um, there's a lot of districts, even rural districts across America where people are kind of okay with the status quo. Mm -hmm. They don't want somebody to rock the boat. Right. They didn't understand that you were going to come in there and, oh, it was, it, it was game on. Game on. You know, and it was going to Zero to a hundred. I don't. And, and it was going to translate into a national platform that would that would in turn change your district, your rural, nice, kind of sleepy, beautiful right. district right. into a battleground. Yes. And now people want you to be eliminated. So they're coming after your district. Yeah. And I mean, I don't see how that's not going to continue. Uh, oh, no, it's going to continue. But right. I, I'm still encouraged by that because what you're seeing is is what's in the darkness right. like coming out. Right. And, and how do you see what's in the dark? You shine a light on yeah. it. There has been revelation. There has been light yeah. shown where we have ignored things, where we've acquiesced, where we haven't served our people right. properly, right. represented them right. properly. That is being revealed. Right. And, I, you know, I'm happy to be a part of that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not afraid of a challenge. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to um, fight this with my constituents alongside of them right. and make sure that they have the rep representation they deserve. How do you feel like, how, how would you encourage or, 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 or like, people in your district, right? What's powerful is their vote is not just now winning the district, mm. but it's the opportunity to have their vote be something that promotes a yes. platform to America. Yes. How do you have them buy into that? Um, well, yes. Well, first of all, I go all throughout my district right. and tell them exactly what I'm doing. Right. Um, I, I do travel to yeah. many other states throughout right. the country, but I go back home uh, very, very often. Yeah. And I let them know when I'm helping other candidates and when I'm going to other states and um, other cities and towns and encouraging right. them, that's a forced multiplier that right. we need for our district. It's not enough that I'm fighting. Right. I need other people all right. throughout the country who are yeah. going to fight just like me. We got Anna right. Paulina Luna. We got some right. amazing she's people. Awesome. She's yeah. amazing. She Did you yeah. see her yes. outfit today? Yes. Oh, Sequence. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes, um, yes queen. So, um, but I need that force multiplier yeah. because my people in Colorado's third district can't vote for them. They can't right. vote for Anna right. Paulina Luna, right. but she can vote for them. Right. Her vote matters to my constituents. Right. Right. And that's why it's so important. Totally. 
And what would be your, you know, we're doing this Kingdom of the Capital Tour, mm -hmm. you know, mobilizing 50 states, 50 state capitals, it's insane. It's way ambitious. Uh, however, we know it's what God's called us to do, yes. to mobilize the church. I met your pastors. Yes. Amazing people. They are you amazing. grew up in the church, you love worship, you love the church. What's your message to to Americans, to yeah. pastors, to leaders, to people in the church that grew up like, why is now, why does it feel like we have to be activated? Yeah. Like in this time. It, we, it feels that way because we do. Yeah. Too many have conformed. Right. They've conformed mm -hmm. to the world around them. They've acquiesced. They say, well, we won't be so bold. Well, we'll just right. give them pieces of the word and they don't need right. to hear the right. whole thing. No, right. this is God's spoken word and, and it is truth and it is life. Yeah. And it, it's it's going to last forever. Right. This is this is what we have to focus on. And so um, I love that you're going to all 50 states and, yeah. and really spreading the gospel, spreading the yeah. good news that, um, that we can be free. Free, yeah. That we have a God who loves us, yeah. who's not coming here to impute yeah. our sins on us and yeah. shame us and tell yeah. us how wrong we've been. He loves us so much. He yeah. sent his son for us. And, and so I encourage pastors to be bold. Yeah. Do not be ashamed of the gospel. On, this man. is the power of yeah. God unto salvation. Yeah. Nothing else. This is. And so we cannot back off of that. Right. Um, we don't just go to church. Right. We are the church. Right. The left doesn't like it when I talk about the church because I'm talking about God's people. Right. And and right. and I I use that um, you know very very um, intently. Right. We are the church. Right. When we leave those four walls, that's what it makes a difference. Right. We go to the church building to be equipped by our right. pastors. Yeah. And so our pastors have a great responsibility to equip the saints right, right. now. Yeah. And 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 part of my heart, and I'd love to have you speak in this is not just mobilizing the church to be unified and to take a stand, but also to gather on these legislative uh, yes. uh, buildings and to tell the powers that be, hey, listen, we're waking up. Absolutely. Like, And, and my hope is to uncover things that maybe have been going on for a long time, yes. like transgender bills and, and stuff that people didn't know yes. was happening under their watch. So right. it's, it's calling the church to attention, calling the pastors to be politically active, mm -hmm. right? Yes. But then also warning the powers that be, hey, listen, we're watching what's going on right. here. Like, how do you feel? Like, what would be your encouragement to Christians and believers on why that's important? Uh, because we're going to lose our nation if yeah. we don't take a stand. If we remain silent, we lose by default. We have to take this stand now. And uh, one thing that I love, uh, uh, just an analogy, maybe maybe it's true, maybe it's not, uh, about the second coming of Jesus. Yeah. Um, I've heard stories of you know people believing that Christians are going to be um, hiding out in caves and right. you know and just right. um, locked down. Maybe maybe it's a lockdown. Maybe it's a government lockdown. But they're shut in and they beg for Jesus to come back. He comes back and rescues them. I don't think that that's the way it's going to be. If if the Old Testament is a type and a shadow of the New Testament, and you look at the Exodus from Egypt, Pharaoh, he was the one who called for God to get his people. He said, get your people out of here. And I believe if, if that type and shadow is true for the New Testament, the church, God's people will be out in such a great force right. that Satan himself will call for the second coming of Jesus. He will say, I cannot do a thing in this earth with your people here. Right. You come and get them. Come on. Isn't I that great? That. that is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. Last thing. What can we expect, or what is your expectations? Thankfully, we, we, we won the house back. We're grateful for that. Um, by the way, California, we, we, we showed up. Yes, yes, you did. California, yes. New York. New York, too. New Lee York, Zeldin, yeah. bravo. Yeah. Yes, we I wouldn't mean, have the majority without yeah, Lee Zeldin. That's true. That's yes. true. So what, what can Americans expect for this incoming Congress? I know that yeah. it looks like McCarthy's putting you all to work. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so, well, McConnell's really our, our big fish to fry right now. Um, right. You know, I, I don't know yes. what we're going to get accomplished in the Senate. Um, right. I, I don't know if Joe Biden will be able to find a pen to sign anything right. at the White right. House. Um, but in the, in the House of Representatives, we have to show America right. that we're ready to right. lead. Yeah. That no matter what comes after we do our job, this is right. the right way to do yeah. things. And we are yeah. setting a precedence yeah. for how to govern, not just campaign on conservative values, right. Right. but to govern yeah. as conservatives. Right. And so these next two years are very, very important. Crucial. And God help us if we mess it up. And, and and give me like three three prayer points. 
Three. For, for this incoming Congress. Because we've been praying. Of course, we got a place there in D.C., Camp of Law. Yes. Uh, we, we, we love it. We love to pray and we love to help Americans engage. What are some just basic prayer points? Yeah. Um, first of all, we need wisdom. Yeah. Um, we absolutely need wisdom. Um, yeah. We need that guidance of the Holy Spirit in every decision that we make. Um, I would say, you know, th this past Congress, the prayer should have been, you know, just to stop things, you right. know, just don't right. let it pass. Right. Right. Totally. But that prayer has been answered. We get right. to stop those Amen. radical yeah. bills that were coming yeah. through the House just right. every right. single yeah. day. Yeah. We got yeah. more that we're voting on this week. Totally. And and um, so that's been answered. So now we, we do need to um, have a way made where there was no way um, and, and really to be able to gain access. Um, but also, I mean, just that the the eyes of the under, uh, um, of the understanding of the representatives who are there be opened, be enlightened, and they would know the hope of their calling. I'm praying for a revival. Literally, I mean, That's, we're, yes. we're planning, you know the hope we're of your planning calling? worship yes. nights in the Capitol. Yes. We're coming in. I'm bringing my guitar. Like, we are going after it. Yes. And I'm praying that members uh, of the house get touched and have a transformation. Absolutely. Uh, encounter with the Lord. Yes. So, anyway, we'll I'll be, be there. praying for you. Thank you. You will be there. Thank You're you. always there. Yes. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks, Sean. Always Thank a you. pleasure. Pray for Lauren. Pray for this incoming, con this incoming team. Pray that God will do amazing things. God bless.